Please like and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for new video update. In this video we learn how to create a new visualization with Codesys. Open Codesys and make a new project. Enter name of your project, select controller for the project and select programming language. I am selecting ladder logic for this project. Open ladder logic program and a make your which you want. I am making a simple logic for your visualization. I am adding timer into our project and start the timer by changing input timer bit. Define all the property of timer and set timer value. I am setting 5 second for our timer. Select Application, right-click and add Object, select Visualization. Select Symbol as Active and press Add Now your new visualization object added to your project. In Toolbox you have all the element and symbol for visualization and animation like Basic Toolbox, Command Control, Alarm Manager, etc. Here I am selecting Dip Switch for Start and Stop Timer. Now go to Property and change the variable tag to By Browsing. I am selecting start underscore time for dip switch. For dip switch, you can select a variable which are bool data type. Compile your project and go to online and select simulation. Download your project. Now make your project to run mode and start the simulation of your project. Now you can see when I change dip switch state off to on timer start running when I switch on to off timer stop to running. Now I am going to offline and adding some more visualization object. I am converting time data to integer data type by adding conversion box. I am defined input as timer value and output as new variable of integer. I am using timer value as integer for progress bar. I am adding some more logic which variable I am using for visualization so I am adding comparison block and comparing timer value to another integer value. Now go to visualization and a lamp and add progress bar and lamp of your project. Define the variable for component by selecting from variable window.
change maximum value and minimum value of progress bar and codes all property is shown in property window you can easily change as per your demand. Now you can see that when dip switch off to on then timer start running our progress bar value is depend on timer increment value so progress bar increment. And when timer comparison bit set then our lamp will on. Now I modified some more logic of our program then re-download to controller. Now I modified some more logic of our program then re-download to controller. Thank you for watching this video hope you will find what you want.